Welcome to our A to B QuickBooks Simple Start Guide on Creating an Invoice. Go ahead and log into QuickBooks. It's a really good idea to log in and follow along with the video. Go to Sales on the left panel and then click Invoices. Click Create an Invoice. In the Customer box, use the drop down to add a new customer. In future, you will be able to select any of the customers that you add here. Enter the customer's name, display name and email. You can add more details, but these are not required. It will look like this. And select Save. Here, check the terms and update them to your usual terms. Next, enter the date of your invoice in the Service Date column and then next set up your or sales items by selecting Add New. Give the item or service a name and an item type from the drop-down. Next, add a description and be sure to select the income account of sales. Next, choose the GST code. If you are registered for GST, choose GST 10%. If you are not GST registered, choose GST free. Save and close. You can add as many items as you want here. These remain as a list that you select from when you make an invoice. You can add and edit items at any time. The list shows the first few items. If you want to find more list items that do not display, start typing the name. Enter the quantity and rate. The amount in GST will display. Click print or preview. Here, check the details and ensure that your bank account details display so that your customer can pay you. Close the page. Save and send. Check the details and then send and close. This has been a very basic get started guide. Note that QuickBooks has lots of help. You will sometimes see a take a tour button. Click on this to learn more. And be sure to watch the next video that will explain how to set up bank feeds in your QuickBooks file. This is very important because it's the mechanism that QuickBooks uses to bring most of your data to your file. If you have problems, we do offer support to our clients on a fee for time basis. Alternatively, QuickBooks does provide some free resources by clicking on the question mark in the top right of your screen. Thanks for watching.